Ever looked up at a skyscraper and thought, wow, that's tall? Well, today we're talking about buildings so tall, they make airplanes nervous. From engineering marvels to sky-high luxury, these giants aren't just touching the clouds, they're practically renting apartments in them. Let's count down the tallest buildings in the world. Kicking off our list at number 25, we have the KK100. The KK100, also known as Kinki 100, stands at 442 meters with 98 floors. Construction kicked off in 2007 and wrapped up by 2011, with a price tag of around $785 million. This mixed-use skyscraper contains office spaces, a six-star hotel, an IMAX cinema hall, malls, and an observation deck on the 100th floor offering panoramic city views. Its sleek, curved design symbolizes a fountain, representing wealth and prosperity. Coming in at number 24, we have the iconic Willis Tower. Standing at 442 meters and 108 stories, Willis Tower, formerly known as the Sears Tower, held the world's tallest building crown from 1974 to 1998 and now ranks as the 23rd tallest building globally. Construction began in 1970 and was completed in 1974, with an estimated cost of $650 million. This skyscraper houses offices, retail spaces, and the famous Sky Deck on the 103rd floor, offering panoramic views of up to four states. At number 23, we find the stunning Wuhan Tower. The Wuhan Tower, also known as Wuhan Center, stands at 443 meters with 88 floors. Construction commenced in 2011 and concluded in 2019 with an estimated cost of $1 billion. This mixed-use skyscraper accommodates high-end offices, luxury residential units, a five-star hotel, and retail spaces. Number 22 on our list is impressive, the Exchange 106. Standing at 445 meters with 95 floors, the Exchange 106's construction began in 2016 and was completed in 2019, with an estimated cost of $1 billion. This skyscraper primarily serves as an office building, offering state-of-the-art facilities and amenities. Locals often refer to it as the crown of Kuala Lumpur, symbolizing the city's economic growth and modernization. In the 21st spot, we have the remarkable Zifeng Tower. Standing at 450 meters with 89 floors, Zifeng Tower is the tallest building in Nanjing and ranks 22nd globally. Construction began in 2005 and was completed in 2010, with an estimated cost of $700 million. This mixed-use skyscraper houses, offices, hotels, retail spaces, and restaurants. Locals affectionately refer to it as the Purple Peak, symbolizing the city's blend of tradition and modernity. The 20th position goes to the spectacular Suzhou IFS. The soaring structure stands at 450 meters with 95 floors. Construction began in 2012 and was completed in 2019, with an estimated cost of $1.4 billion. This skyscraper serves multiple purposes, including housing offices, a hotel, and service departments. Locals often refer to it as the Gate to the East, symbolizing the city's openness and rapid growth. Taking the 19th spot, we have the breathtaking Petronas Twin Towers. The Petronas Twin Towers rises 452 meters above with 88 floors. Construction began in 1992 and was completed in 1998 with an estimated cost of $5 billion. These towers were the tallest buildings in the world from 1998 to 2004 and remain the tallest twin towers globally. They house offices, a shopping mall, and an observation deck. The towers are connected by a sky bridge on the 41st and 42nd floors, which is not only functional but also a great spot for selfies. Locals affectionately call them the Twin Jewels of Kuala Lumpur symbolizing Malaysia's rapid development. At number 18, we have the striking Changsha IFS Tower 1. This vertical marvel stands 452 meters tall with 94 floors. Construction began in 2013 and was completed in 2018, with an estimated cost of $1.5 billion. This skyscraper houses offices, a luxury hotel, and a shopping mall. Locals affectionately refer to it as the Star of Changsha symbolizing the city's rise as a commercial hub. 
The 17th spot goes to the incredible Vincom Landmark 81. Standing at 461 meters with 81 floors, Vincom Landmark 81 is the tallest building in Vietnam and ranks 17th in the world. Construction began in 2015 and was completed in 2018, with an estimated cost of $1.4 billion. This skyscraper houses luxury apartments, a hotel, a shopping mall, and an observation deck offering panoramic views of Ho Chi Minh City. Its design is inspired by the traditional Vietnamese bamboo bundle, symbolizing strength and unity. Locals affectionately call it the bamboo sprout, as it represents the rapid growth and development of the city. Number 16 on our list is the outstanding Lakta Center. Standing at 462 meters with 87 floors, the Lakta Center is the tallest building in Europe. Construction began in 2012 and was completed in 2019 with an estimated cost of $1.77 billion. This skyscraper serves as the headquarters for Gazprom, Russia's largest energy company, and includes offices, a scientific and educational complex, and public spaces like an observation deck and a planetarium. Its twisting design minimizes wind loads and gives it a futuristic appearance. Locals often refer to it as the corn cob, owing to its unique shape that stands out against St. Petersburg's historic skyline. At number 15, we find the majestic Central Park Tower. The tallest residential building in the world, Central Park Tower, rises 472 meters above with 98 floors. Construction began in 2014 and was completed in 2020, with an estimated cost of $3 billion. This skyscraper offers ultra-luxurious residences, high-end retail spaces, and amenities like a grand ballroom and a 60-foot outdoor swimming pool. Its prime location near Central Park provides residents with stunning park and city views. Some call it the billionaire's nest, as it's home to some of the most expensive apartments in the world. The 14th position goes to the spectacular Wuhan Greenland Center. With 101 floors, the Wuhan Greenland Center stands tall at 475.6 meters. Construction began in 2012 and was completed in 2023, with an estimated cost of $4.5 billion. This sleek skyscraper houses offices, luxury apartments, and a hotel, originally planned to reach 636 meters. Its height was scaled back due to aviation rules, because even skyscrapers have to share the sky. Taking the 13th spot, we have the iconic International Commerce Center. Standing at 484 meters with 108 floors, the Cloud Piercer is the tallest building in Hong Kong. Construction began in 2002 and was completed in 2010, costing around $3.8 billion. This towering structure houses offices, the hotel, the Sky 100 observation deck on the 100th floor, and the highest swimming pool in the world. Imagine doing laps with a view like that! Halfway through at number 12, we have the noteworthy Shanghai World Financial Center. Standing at 492 meters with 101 floors, the urban giant is also known as the bottle opener because of its unique design at the top. Who knew you could open a drink with a building? Construction started in 1997 and was completed in 2008, costing around $1.2 billion. This skyscraper houses offices, a hotel, and an observation deck. The building is famous for its large rectangular opening at the top, which was originally designed to reduce wind pressure. Earning its place at number 11 is the majestic Taipei 101. At 508 meters with 101 floors, Taipei 101 was once the tallest building in the world from 2004 to 2009 and is still the tallest in Taiwan. Construction started in 1999 and finished in 2004, costing around $1.9 billion. This tower is famous for its bamboo-inspired design and its ability to withstand earthquakes and typhoons. Inside, you'll find luxury offices, a shopping mall, and restaurants. The building also has a massive tuned mass damper a giant ball that keeps it from swaying too much in the wind. At number 10, rising high, the stunning Siddick Tower. The high rise stands at 527 meters with 109 floors. Construction started in 2013 and was completed in 2018, costing around $3.4 billion. Its design is inspired by an ancient Chinese wine vessel, giving it a unique curved shape. The tower is mainly used for offices, but it also has an observation deck with amazing city views. 
Kicking off our list at number 9, we have the spectacular Tianjin CTF Finance Center. The mega tower is 530 meters high with 97 floors. Construction started in 2013 and finished in 2019, costing around $1.2 billion. This sleek, curvy skyscraper is home to offices, luxury apartments, and a hotel. Its design helps reduce wind resistance, making it not just tall, but smart. With its smooth glass exterior, some say it looks like a giant piece of polished ice, but no, you can't skate on it. Coming in at number 8, we have the Guangzhou CTF Finance Center. Standing at 530 meters with 111 floors, the Guangzhou CTF Finance Center shares the same height as its Tianjin twin, but lands at number 8 due to floor count. The tower is the third tallest building in China. Construction began in 2010 and was completed in 2016, costing around $1.5 billion. This skyscraper is packed with offices, a shopping mall, luxury apartments, and the Rosewood Hotel. It has some of the fastest elevators in the world, zooming up at 72 kilometers per hour. So, if you ever need a quick escape from a boring meeting, this building has got you covered. Taking the seventh spot, we have the iconic One World Trade Center. Standing at 541 meters with 94 floors, One World Trade Center is the tallest building in the USA. Construction started in 2006 and was completed in 2014 with a cost of $3.9 billion. It stands as a symbol of resilience, built where the original Twin Towers once stood. Inside, it has offices, restaurants, and the One World Observatory, where you can see all of New York. If the fog doesn't ruin your plans, 30 to 35 percent of the tower is non-usable due to its 124-meter broadcasting antenna and structural support areas. Taking the sixth spot is the remarkable Lotta World Tower. Reaching 555 meters with 123 floors, Lotta World Tower is the tallest building in South Korea. Construction began in 2011 and finished in 2017, costing around $2.5 billion. This tower has everything, luxury apartments, offices, a seven-star hotel, and even a movie theater. Locals say it looks like a giant candle, but don't try to blow it out because this one's not melting anytime soon. At number five, we have the breathtaking Ping An Finance Center. Ever seen a giant USB drive? That's what the Ping An Finance Center looks like. At 599 meters with 115 floors, this sleek skyscraper is home to financial giants, luxury hotels, and an observation deck with views of Shenzhen. China's second tallest building, which cost around $1.5 billion to build, was completed in 2017 after construction started in 2010. Fun fact, it was originally supposed to be taller, but air traffic control said, nope, not today. Taking the fourth spot is the majestic Maka Royal Clock Tower, the world's tallest hotel and biggest clock face. At 601 meters with 120 floors, this massive structure is right next to the Great Mosque in Mecca. Construction began in 2002 and was completed in 2012, costing a massive $15 billion. Yes, you heard that right. The clock itself is visible from 25 kilometers away and helps millions of pilgrims and Muslims keep track of prayer times. With luxury hotels, shopping malls, and a prayer hall for 10,000 people, this skyscraper is more than just tall. It's a landmark of faith. At number three, we have the striking Shanghai Tower. China's tallest building and the second tallest in the world for years, Shanghai Tower stands at 632 meters with 128 floors. Construction started in 2009 and wrapped up in 2015, costing around $2.4 billion because twisting a building isn't cheap. Yep, this skyscraper has a unique spiral design to reduce wind resistance. Inside, it has offices, hotels, and an observation deck with stunning city views. 30 to 35% of the tower is non-usable due to its spire and structural elements. Oh, and its elevators are among the fastest in the world, zooming up at 74 kilometers per hour, faster than most cars in traffic. Our runner-up at number two is the spectacular Merdeka 118. Say hello to the tallest building in Asia, Merdeka 118, stands 679 meters tall with 118 floors. Construction started in 2014 and was completed in 2023 with a price tag of $1.5 billion. 
This massive tower is home to offices, a hotel, a shopping mall, and an observation deck with breathtaking views of Kuala Lumpur. 25 to 30 percent of Merdeka 118 is non-usable due to its spire and structural elements. Its design is inspired by Malaysia's independence, and with that height, if you trip at the top, you'll have enough time to rethink your life choices before landing. And finally, the number one spot goes to the stunning Burj Khalifa. Welcome to the king of skyscrapers, the Burj Khalifa. Standing 828 meters tall with 163 floors, it is the tallest building in the world since 2010. Construction started in 2004 and was finished in just six years, costing a whopping $1.5 billion. Inside, you'll find fancy apartments, offices, and the luxurious Armani Hotel Dubai. Although it stands 828 meters tall, around 35 to 40 percent of the Burj Khalifa is non-usable, including the spire, upper mechanical floors, service areas, and structural supports. The elevators are super fast, taking you to the top in just one minute. Oh, and if you drop your phone from the top, you might as well buy a new one, because it'll take a whole minute to hit the ground. And that's a wrap on the tallest buildings on Earth. These skyscrapers prove that humans love defying gravity, one steel beam at a time. Who knows? Maybe in the future, we'll have buildings so tall, they come with their own weather reports. Until then, keep your feet on the ground and your dreams as high as these towers. See you in the next video.